before I start tearing apart my layout again, uh, I'm going to be doing some updates kind of to this side. I've got this kind of planned out. Um, starting to work on some more of my buildings, but it's going to go ahead and show you guys this before I uh, start moving things around. Uh, this is where I'm at so far. This is the Top Gear uh, caravan train from the uh, TV show. And what I have here is an Audi R, or Audi, let's see, it's an A8, I think. But it's the, uh, let's say, I have it's custom modded with the Williams motor pickups, wheels, they're painted black. Got this little hook right here. And so this is my train that's, that was on the show. And so these are uh, caravans, campers, and these have been modified with uh, Lionel wheels, train wheels. They just have the original plastic front, front and then it's got this uh, brass hook in the back. It will go forwards, but it pops out of the hook if I go in reverse, which is okay. This is only set up to go forwards anyway. So I have four of these, and these all just hook right here. And that's all I've done so far. I've just gotten them all ready to go. This back one does not have a hook. Uh, in the show, there's a platform right here with a toilet. Uh, I may or may not do that. In the show, the, this one right here is a, oh, it's a diner car. And, well, not a diner car, but a uh, it's a cooking car, a uh, kitchen, and it catches on fire and does all this crazy stuff. There, the windows are clear, so if I wanted to, I could put some um, like fire burning LEDs. However, I'd have to somehow mount a uh, pickup wheel uh, for my power or do a battery thing. I don't really like to do batteries, but uh, anyway, that's where I'm at so far. It's enough to count. Um, it it works. Um, this has a very simple electronics. It just goes uh, straight front to a rectifier to the motor, so it's just on or off. There's no nothing fancy here. And then, but the way I have my track set up, I have this main button for my red route. That's the only route that isn't you know cluttered with stuff. So we're gonna tr do my red red group here, and all I have to do is unclick this, and it fires everything up. But it works. It only has one speed. But I don't think I want to go any slower than that, and I don't think I want to go any faster than that. So I kind of think that's where I want it. This is through my Frozen 2 section. That's a castle that I'm working on. Um, and then this will be Ghostbusters. I'll have a big hotel. But everything works. It's kind of funny. And this right here would be my Jurassic Park section. The uh, I'm working on my big boy right here, trying to get uh, this this tower. It's about about to hit the tower, so I need to do some trimming or move this forward or something. But uh, there's my caravan train. Hong Kong doesn't go woo woo because it's a car. But. Uh, You get the idea. It really hasn't derailed very much at all. I had some issues with the switch, but it was a switch. So, it seems to be doing extremely well. Uh, it only has the two wheels per car, so it, it kind of flexes and does its thing. I was thinking I may have to add some weights uh, to kind of keep it on the track, but so far I don't think it needs any weights. And I don't want to add too much weights because then it'll just slow down the car, so I think I want to keep it as light as possible. But, you know, my controls are like I literally just click the button and then there's my controls. Whenever I want to go forward and or uh, stop, 
I just click my little button right here and I just stop it. Let's see, it can go on and off. But that's, that's enough, right? Like I said, if I, I can't really have forwards and backwards because the uh, couplers fall apart. And I don't really, the only other option would be um, like a soft start. I could do a soft start on there. Because right, well, there it goes. It just can't really handle starts and stops. And, but it's just a simple re-click on there. But you can see how the way this articulates, this one is moving this one way out of whack, which causes that one to go off center, which causes that one to be off center. So it does kind of a zigzag until he gets through that turn. But you notice it didn't derail or have any issues. So it's, that's the main thing. Does it derail? And we lost the car and we crashed into a car. Well, see now my stop button is way over here. Yeah, we got, we got a straggler over here. Luckily, it's an easy, let's take this guy back off. And this is the last one. But you get the idea. It's fun. It's funny. And that was the goal. Now it's got three. Someone's bumping. I think we got a, yeah, we're, we're off the rails here. Like I said, no issues. I've had no issues with this. But there you go. Uh, that's all I got. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.